I'm Ryan, and this is Dustin. We got married in the summer of 2014, and in the winter, we bought a house. We're pretty handy, and Dustin has a real good eye for design. These are our chronicles of renovations, fixes, and decorating as we go through our new lives as homeowners. We're out in our backyard. Better. I know it looks like woods, but this is our backyard. Uh, no, we did not play Jumanji and lose. This it is just, just that way. what our backyard happens to look like. Um, and last week, while we were filming, our uh, neighbors came up while I had the window out and uh, told us that trees in our yard had fell on their property. There were trees that we thought were going to fall. They're covered in vines, just like a, a lot of these are. But thankfully, we started to mediate that fact. We started to we started to pull some down. We also, since we learned you can just pull the vines off five feet of the bottom of the trees. And it kills them? Apparently that works well. So we did that to yeah. all our trees very quickly. But we had one old rotten tree fall into our neighbor's yard. Which took down two other trees. So three total. And this is all while we're putting in new windows. So we had to shell out money to take care of trees. And there was another tree too that they didn't like that was a little unnerving for them. So we had to take that one out too. So we uh, surprisingly spent a good chunk of money on taking care of some trees, which is why we angrily removed vines, All the vines. from the rest of these trees. So not only are we eventually going to have to take all the vines out of the backyard and clean up our yard, which is a massive task it's an acre but we also have to eventually fix this fence you can't just buy a couple of feet of chain like you have to buy the whole roll it's not cheap so we'll do little pieces at a time thankfully the dogs haven't realized that they can get out they're good dogs so this is what happens when it gets a wild hair we take things out you got the wild hair I simply said I wanted it done. You I decided there was no way we could transplant them. Yes, we got a professional opinion. I understand. Go. So we took out all the bushes. We had that crazy little half wall of bushes. Now, that's where it was. We do not. So, full open and it's starting to pour down rain. Okay, bye. So, the next project that we're going to be working on is lowering the molding, our quarter round for our, our bottom molding. Um, you kind of check it out. When they built the house, they put carpet all the way through it. And there goes a puppy. Um, <laughs> hello, Ryder. Come see Ryder. Hi. Hi, Zeus. So, what they actually did was left the space <laughs> <laughs> whenever they, hello puppies, pulled up the carpet. So what we're going to be doing next is actually dropping the quarter round down to the floor. But when we do that, you'll see in a little bit, um, it leaves kind of like a paint lip. So we actually have to like scrape that down, sand it down so it's smooth whenever we replace it, and then um, paint it for a nice finish. Dustin gets some curtains out of the way and some chairs, and then we move the very important liquor cabinet carefully. Ready? So what we're gonna need is the pry bar to take the molding off. We're gonna need these paint scrapers to scrape a good chunk of the paint off. There's uh, already a little bit of paint on there that's a couple of coats, so there's going to be a big lip, so we're going to scrape that off and kind of fare it in. Then we'll come back with some 100 grit sandpaper, a little palm sander, and get it nice and smooth. And we'll put the molding back down with this along the floor, and then we'll paint it. put the pry bar under the molding and work it off. But I also have to watch for the splices in the moldings. Careful with those and make sure you don't lose them. Right. 
Priminy. Priminy is right. Priminy River. As I remove all the molding in the room, Dustin uses a pair of pliers and pulls the nails backwards out of the molding. This prevents the molding from getting damaged. So, now we have this lip of paint that goes all the way around. So now we have to use scrapers. We're going to scrape this off because it's faster scraping it, and then we can sand the scrapes out. It's a lot easier and a lot faster to do it that way. And then we'll put the new we'll put the new molding. We're gonna put the old molding down at the bottom and everything will be happy. So we have to get this off. We're gonna do that now. Well we scrape the paint lip off, splitting the work, and then vacuum up the scrapings. So let us point out the big reflective gold flecked elephant in this room. Nope. We don't have two chandeliers, and no, we did not clone Dustin. That would be bad. We have a massive mirror uh, in our dining room that covers the entire wall. But the takedown is going to be glorious. That Ooh. would be an episode. Uh, so many things involved. Just. It'll be earth shattering or wall shattering. Next step, making dust. So much easier to get the molding smooth after using the scrapers. So, I have earplugs in, so I'm trying to talk not so loud. You're fine. Am I talking normally? Yeah. Okay. So, dinner time, Dustin's gonna cook because he had a recipe he wants to try. Yes. And I'm gonna take these into the basement and uh, I gotta sand down the paint. That's a little funky here. On the edges. So that it's like brand new when we put it in. So I'm going to do that. He's going to do this. We're going to divide and conquer. I'm just getting little bits off the edges here. I'm not getting all the paint off. Just roughing it up so it's easier to paint. Just a new coat. How's that chicken? Fantastic. Garlicky. It's going to be phenomenal. It will. Okay, let's nail this in. Keep in mind, as I've learned through my experience doing this, it's not a license to just paint. Um, because it will, even with the screen tape, it will get underneath it if you're just slathering paint on. So, it's there to mask. It's not there as a preventative. So still, try to cut in as best you can, and that'll prevent the uh, paint from seeping underneath the tape and getting on your floors. Caulking is king. It's paintable, dries fast, and if you do it right, there's no sanding like there would be with wood putty. Progress has been a little slow. Um, I am now done caulking and taping the uh, bottom molding. You can see right there. Um, but we had, uh, we've only been in this house for almost a year, and we're now starting to make friends, and one of our neighbors offered uh, to take some of the debris we have, or the stuff from working on our house, uh, to the dumps. So we stopped and loaded a couple of items onto his trailer. So that was nice. Um, but now we're back to work. Great neighbors. And now we're going to finish this so that I can put this room back together. And then we're done. The tape is there to mask. Still try to carefully cut in. So, yes. we've got a coat of paint on the molding. That's all we're going to do for this week. We're going to, I'll show you what it looks like after the second coat and final coat. Um, but already it looks much better. Doesn't like dingy. No, no more dingy. No. So, um, if you have any questions, feel free to post it in the comments. Subscribe. Like, Hello. yep, and uh, stay tuned for next week's episode when maybe we do more yard stuff. I don't know. We'll find out. Yep. Bye. Bye. You do not look like death. He doesn't look like death. He does not look like death. <laughs>